Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about using virtual destructors in polymorphic base classes. Let's look at our example. We have a class dog and dog's destructor prints out dog destroyed. Yellow dog derived from dog and yellow dog's destructor prints out yellow dog destroyed. And here I'm using a factory design pattern. I use a dog factory class to be the centralized place of creating dogs. And I have a static function create yellow dog, which creates a yellow dog and return it as a dog's pointer. And it also has other functions to create other types of dogs. In the main function I have a dog's pointer PD equal to dog factory create yellow dog. And after I've done something with PD, eventually I delete PD. And let's run the program. As you see, when PD gets deleted, only the dog's destructor is called. That is very bad because we have created a yellow dog and in the end only part of the yellow dog is destroyed. We have to make sure that the yellow dog's own destructor also needs to be invoked. This is why we need a, a virtual destructor for the base classes. And now if we run the program, both yellow dog and the dog's destructor are invoked. So the conclusion we are getting from this example is, if a class is meant to be used in a polymorphic way, such as in this case we are creating a yellow dog and then cast it into a dog's pointer, then the base class must have a virtual destructor to ensure the destructors are invoked appropriately. If a class has any sort of virtual function, like a bark function, then it is most likely that this class will be used polymorphically, which means most likely it will need a virtual destructor. If for some reason you really don't want to have a virtual destructor, then there's a second way to do it. Shared pointer of dog. And inside the create yellow dog function, I'm gonna create a shared pointer of yellow dog. So I create a shared pointer of yellow dog and then cast it into shared pointer of dog. In the main function, I do shared pointer of dog. PD. And I don't need to delete PD anymore because the shared pointer will be responsible to delete the object. And in this case, I don't even need the virtual destructor. And let's run the program again. As you see, both yellow dog and dog's destructors are invoked. Note that you can only use the shared pointer to perform this kind of magic. If you are using unique pointer, it won't do the job. Unique pointer will only invoke the dog's destructor. The last thing I want to point out is all the classes in STL have no virtual destructor. So you need to be very careful when you are inheriting from them. One thing you can do is try to use shared pointer as much as possible for the classes that is derived from the STL classes. That's all for today. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos I have. Bye-bye.